There is a lot of hype around Material 3 Expressive right now, and judging from comments on the last video, some of you really love it, and some of you hate it. I'm actually on the side of quite enjoying what this update will eventually bring us. It's given us something fresh for the UI, and I think that the Pixel needs it. As it stands, the UI just looks a little plain and boring in some places, especially compared to something like One UI. So, a splash of colour here, some bouncy animations there, and blur almost everywhere, and we've got ourselves something new. And some of these updates coming, I think, just give the Pixel a fresh new look, without really changing everything that we're used to. We are pretty close to seeing that full rollout of Material 3 Expressive, and it's it's meant to be coming around about September time, so in Q4, but my fingers are crossed here that we see this launch with the Pixel 10 series, but I can probably only hope. I don't know if this is going to happen. But either way, we'll see some of these big changes coming in Android 16 QPR1, but the eagle-eyed amongst you might have already seen a few new expressive designs in some Google apps recently. I have been digging through Material 3 Expressive and I've got a couple of new favourite redesigns that I want to show you and I'm going to start first with the phone app. This is by far one of my favourite redesigned apps. I feel that the phone app, the dialer that we currently have is fine but maybe it's a little basic and it's definitely due an update. Google is giving the phone app a fresh new look and if you have a look here you'll notice that gestures in the bottom here are the new way to answer and decline most of your calls. But there's a few different changes as well, so let me go through them. And first off, inside the app, there are some changes to how you can view and see call logs and favourites. The tabs at the bottom have changed, and to view those favourites now, you'll see a new banner at the top of the screen, which definitely looks a little bit cleaner than what we currently have on Android 16. You can also see that the call history is just a little bit more organised, with more distinct options for today and older calls. Then the biggest update is when you get an incoming call, because we now have this new swipe gesture to decline, and answer. And a few of you probably have already got this update, so you might see it on your phones already because this is coming through a Google Play Store update rather than a big Android update. And I definitely know that when Google changes something that's quite drastic like this, some of you are going to hate it. But luckily enough for you, Google is actually going to let you go into settings and you can get rid of those swipe gestures completely so you can stick with the old button gestures if that's something that you prefer. And another update that you'll notice during the new phone app update is that actually when you're inside a call, that decline button is now pill-shaped and just a little bit bigger if you ever just want to end the call. Like I said, this should be rolling out to quite a few people now, so this is something that you're not going to have to wait for a big Android update for. But the next update that's coming to Material 3 Expressive, which I really like, you're all just going to have to wait a little bit longer for. The next bigger change is coming to quick settings, and if you have any of the QPR betas of Android 16 on your phone at the moment, you can actually already see this. Along with the phone app, I would say that this is probably one of the biggest upgrades, because with the quick settings, this is something that you use every single day, so you're just going to see that change all the time. You'll notice that whatever your home screen colour option is set to, that influences the quick settings in a more obvious way. And you'll notice that all the active toggles are a slightly different shade of green, so it's a little bit more obvious to what is already switched on. So for example, the Wi-Fi, you know that is switched on at a glance because it has a deeper, darker green. And then the notification panel, that also gets a bit of a coloured upgrade as well because it matches the green toggle. So you'll notice now that you have this here and it's slightly blurred, so you can slightly just see the wallpaper through the back of that and I think that's a nice upgrade because basically it's better than just the plain white background that you have on Android 16. Just the overall look of this I think has gotten a bit of an upgrade. The brightness slider is now more boxy and it has a handle where you can pull the brightness either up or down and the quick setting panels are a lot smaller with Material 3 Expressive and a lot more pill like. It just gives it a much cleaner aesthetic and you can have two rows of five on Material 3 Expressive when it's expanded rather than just two rows of four on Android 16 and the quick setting panels are also resizable so you'll notice that when you go into there and click the edit button that you can now actually start if I can click it just to resize these which basically means that they're about half the size of the bigger pill shape and once you've shrank them down a little bit you can then just turn things off with one tap so for example what you can do here is you'll see the Bluetooth one you can just tap that and instantly it's then switched off rather than it opening up the Bluetooth settings. And I think this is a really nice change. I really like this. I know a few of you will be sat there thinking, I don't really like this, but I think it adds a bit of personality to the quick setting toggles. And also the fact that this is not exactly massively different from what we have already in Android 16, it's almost like a bit of refinement. And I think Google have done a good job. 
Now the next big change for Material 3 Expressive is inside messages and I know this one is probably a little bit more controversial because I saw a lot of comments from people saying that they don't like this new change and we actually haven't seen a working version of this yet so it might not be the final version of what we have here because it's probably only a concept that Google have shown us so far but I don't think it's going to look too different. It looks like to me that Google has seen iMessage and WhatsApp and Messages and wants to take a little bit from each of them and kind of create this new updated version of the Google Messages app. Now we've only seen what Google has wanted us to see from the updated Messages app yet, so we've not seen a working version of it. So we're kind of stuck with just this one screenshot that Google showed us a while ago and a few different ones that we saw inside its commercial for Material 3 Expressive. And it looks like the colors will be different depending on what color theme you have picked for your Google Pixel phone. So it could be blue and purple, it could be black and orange. There is a few different versions of how we've seen this working. Like this will be a big upgrade visually and I kind of get why some people would just see it as a little bit too much because it is really in your face and it's loud and people sometimes don't like big changes like that. But personally, I think the big colorful design looks great. It stands out much more, it looks fun and you know, that's what Material 3 Expressive is all about. And I get why some people are really not going to like this, but I do think Google will probably tone this down a little bit before its final release, which should come out in the Android 16 QPR release. Next up is the Clock app, and this has got some big changes, but I'll tell you more about that in a second after a quick word from our sponsor. As Dumbledore once said, let us step out into the night and pursue that flighty, temptress adventure. There are so many adventures in life, and for me, coding has always been one of them. It's a journey. You start from an idea and progress until the idea is made into a reality. For me, I love to see the results of even the smallest amount of coding, getting that instant feedback. And the sponsors of this video think the same. Boot.dev is an interactive learning platform that turns programming into an adventure. Rather than bombard you with lots of theory and stuff to make you bored stiff, boot.dev takes you on a journey. It offers a smart way to learn to code by making sure you're never bored. You can't learn to code without doing what you'll do on the job, writing lots of code and turning ideas into real projects. And that is what boot.dev offers you. Boot.dev can help you become a back-end web developer from start to finish in Python, Go and JavaScript. There are also courses on Linux, Git, SQL, C, Docker and TypeScript. Along the way, you'll gain experience points, XP, level up, earn achievements and complete quests. Go to boot.dev and try out the course for free. Then use our code Android Authority to get 25% off your entire first year if you choose the annual plan. Okay, now back to the video. I didn't think I'd ever really talk about a clock app in a video, but this is one of those apps that is getting a big overhaul in how it'll look with Material 3 Expressive. One of the big changes straight away you'll notice is when you set an alarm. So you'll see here that this looks really different to the rounded clock that we currently have on Android 16. And it's replaced by these big rounded buttons and this big time here, which I think looks really nice. The AM and PM switch is slightly different as well. And I feel like this stands out way more. When you go into your clock and have a look at the alarms that are set, you'll also see now that the entire alarm is actually highlighted so you can see which alarm is switched on. And previously, we just had that small little toggle in the bottom right there. But now Google have removed this. It makes it a little bit easier to see what's happening. And when that alarm is going off, Google have replaced the swipe to snooze or stop action with two obvious big buttons that stand out a lot more and it should make it a little bit easier to either snooze or stop that alarm. And it's weird here that they've actually got rid of the swipe gesture when they've just added that to the phone app. So it's kind of the opposite. Google has also given the timers part of the clock the same upgrade as the clock app as well, just bringing it all together and all uniform. Even inside the stopwatch, you'll notice now that everything is just a little bit bigger. It's giving it that new material three expressive coat of paint. And you know what? I'm a fan of it. I've said that a lot in this video, but I just really like material three expressive. And finally, Gemini could get a small update when it's activated as well. So we've seen a few different versions of what this might look like, but Google is definitely still working on the final version of this. The new version of Gemini will be much more bouncy in terms of how it's activated and its animation. Right now, we have a slide up from the bottom of the display, but with the newer version, it's gonna be more bouncing into life. 
And what it'll do is it will start to show actions based on what is being displayed on the screen with newer, more rounder pill-like buttons, which kind of matches the quick settings, making it a little bit easier just to do the actions that you've probably activated Gemini for in the first place. So it's just making sure that everything you need to do is done a lot quicker. Now, they're just some of my favorite updates coming to Material 3 Expressive, but if you're using the betas, then you're gonna start seeing a little bit more of Material 3 Expressive just sprinkled throughout the Google apps. And there is still redesigns as well coming to the Photos app and how you edit video. So we're not done yet. And then you have things like the new Now Playing bar, which should be coming to the Pixel lock screens, which I was a big fan of when I first saw it, but someone in the comments said it almost looks like the media toggles for what you're actually playing. And I kind of agree, and it might look a little bit confusing. Luckily, I think Google is still refining what everything will look like for its final release. Things like the new Dialer app and incoming call screen are pretty set in stone at this point as they've been officially announced. And the reason we're seeing a few of these updates now is that these apps are getting updates through the Google Play Store. So you're not gonna have to wait for a big Android upgrade to see everything. What you're gonna to have to wait for is the quick settings. They're gonna come in the Android QPR release later on in the year. But of course, if you wanted to, you could download the beta and you could test some of these features now. Personally, I don't know, I'd be a little bit careful. I don't always think that the betas are worth it, especially for such small UI changes. And if you do download a beta, not everything is gonna work exactly how you might want it to work. But let me know in the comments, what do you think of Material 3 Expressive's new big, bold redesign? Do you like it or is it a little bit just too much in your face? I kind of get why people might not like this. Before you head off, why not subscribe to the Android Authority channel? And if you do that, then I will see you in the next video.